The date is March the 4th, 2010. Last night, in a rainstorm, one of the very large oak trees, a live oak, fell down at a park in Saratoga. My name is Blair Glenn, and I am an ISA certified arborist. The tree that failed was an extremely healthy looking specimen, and there wasn't any evidence of root decay or any root rot, nor was there any evidence of trunk decay. There are two trees that, that are adjacent to the tree that failed, the one valley oak and another live oak. A close inspection of the root ball shows that much or most of the root ball came up out of the ground with a, without a lot of severing, some broken roots, but there's a very large root ball that exposed itself. On the roots that are severed, there is not any evidence of white rot or uh, root rot in any areas that I could see. Because there were three trees growing in a grouping, each of the three trees was one-sided. This tree was very much one-sided, but it was a very healthy specimen. In a tight, crowded environment, oftentimes the trees will grow at a slant and they will lean towards the outside where they can get their own bit of available sunlight. If this was over a home or any kind of a target that would have uh, concerned me, then I probably would have recommended weight reduction. However, because it was out in the open and the soil has never been disturbed, it was my opinion that this tree was reasonably safe. And if you would have asked me a couple of days ago what I thought of this tree, I would have said I thought it was fine. There was nothing to indicate that there was anything to be concerned of. But it did in fact fail, and a lot of people are wondering why. This is a very large open wild area with a lot of vegetation on the ground. I know that it's been mowed for a number of years, and pre previous to this it had been disked for a long time, uh, as well as the adjacent orchards. I also know that I observed this area last year after it had been mowed, several weeks after the mowing, there was an unusually large population of gophers. The uh, piles of gopher mounds were just everywhere throughout this field. In the grasses, you really can't see those mounds. I do know that when I walk around in this area, the soil is extremely spongy, much more so than any other area that I can remember walking in. So I don't have any evidence to back this up, but I'm surmising that the large population of gophers contributed to the soil being fairly loose. With the advent of an excessive amount of rain, this area became thoroughly saturated with, with water, and there just wasn't enough stability in the soil to keep this root, root system intact. So the tree fell down. Now we're worried about the adjacent trees. These trees are also leaning away from where there was competition, and they're fairly one-sided, but they have the added problem of a large hole from a root system that fell over. My recommendation for these existing trees, the ones that are still here, is to do about a 10 to 15 percent weight reduction on the heaviest side of these trees. Now with rain forecast in the near future, the possibility of this hole becoming a small pond and further destabilizing this area, adding to the uh, existing weakness on the two other trees, leads me to recommend filling this hole as soon as possible. That doesn't mean grinding up the stump and filling it with the loose chips. I believe that we should fill this hole with some solid, reasonably dry dirt. Finally, my last recommendation kind of goes against all the rules of arboriculture, and that's going to be to compact this area somewhat. Back drag a bucket without disturbing the soil, but pressing it down. I would like to see some of these gopher holes be crushed, and I'd like to see this soil be pushed back down a little bit. Um, I don't know about adding extra fill, but that may be something else to consider. This should only be done at the side away from the lean. The back side that it's leaning into should be left completely intact and nothing should be uh, touched in those areas. 
other than the weight reduction, the compaction, and the filling of the, of the hole, uh, I can't make any other recommendations for this scenario. And frankly, I am quite surprised that it happened in the first place. Once again, my name is Blair Glenn, and I am an ISA certified arborist.